Hello, I am Arpit, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how Elastic Resize works and talk about the considerations to think about before performing Elastic Resize. Let's get started. Elastic Resize is a feature that enables you to add or remove nodes in an Amazon Redshift cluster in minutes. This feature further increases your agility to get better performance and more storage for demanding workloads and to reduce cost during periods of low demand. In Amazon Redshift, Elastic Resize works differently depending on the target node type. Before you start to use Elastic Resizing, check whether the target node type is the same as the source node type. To check your current node type, follow these steps. Log in to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the Amazon Redshift Console. From the navigation menu, choose Clusters. Here you can see the node type and number of nodes for each cluster present in your account. Or you can use this AWS CLI command to obtain more information about your Amazon Redshift cluster. When resizing a cluster in Amazon Redshift using Elastic Resize but without changing the node type, Amazon Redshift automatically redistributes data to the new nodes. Elastic Resize operations typically complete within a few minutes. If your node type has changed, Amazon Redshift creates a new cluster and copies data to this cluster from the latest snapshot. During the data transfer, your Amazon Redshift cluster operates in read-only mode and all writes are blocked. After the resize operation completes, Amazon Redshift automatically updates the new cluster's endpoint to match your existing cluster's endpoint. All connections to the original cluster are then terminated. To see the number of slices present per node, run this query. From the output, you can see that I am using a 2 node and each node has 3 slices per node. However, because here the cluster is node type DC2 large which has 2 initial slices, then the output shows that elastic resize was performed on the cluster. You can use the Amazon Redshift console to get possible number of nodes for elastic resize by following these steps. Log in to the AWS management console and then navigate to the Amazon Redshift console. From the navigation menu, choose clusters. Select the cluster that you want to resize and then choose actions. Choose resize. Now from the new cluster configuration, you can see the number of nodes available for elastic resize option. Or you can use this AWS CLI command to obtain possible node configurations for a resize operation. If you are not getting the option to perform elastic resize for a different number of nodes, make sure to check the number of slices present in the cluster and then the number of slices that are required for the destination node type. Elastic Resize Best Practices Take a snapshot before you start the Elastic Resize process, especially if you are resizing a new cluster. After the Elastic Resize is completed, you might see that disk utilization of few nodes is higher than other nodes. This can be due to the change in ratio of node and slice. You can use this query to see number of slices present per node. Although disk utilization on few nodes might vary, you can check table skewness using the query shown. So now you know how Elastic Resize works as well as the best practices to be considered while performing Elastic Resize. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.